I love to travel, but I do not have a driver's license. That's why I'm so happy that there are these buses that can take you to amazing destinations in Japan. And they are by wheeler travel, sea highway bus and night bus. So we can do day tours, but also overnight get from Tokyo all the way to Hiroshima, for example, for under 35 US dollars, amazing prices. And you know, these buses are very comfortable. I like the seats, you know, it's enough space and often it's separated so you will not see the other traveler. So yeah, actually look how cool the seats for overnight ride can be. And if you are a member, you can get discounts and coupons. Oh yeah, this is the company Wheeler. And often, you know, all my travels that you see, I'm actually taking these buses to go around Japan. And they also have day tours. So today we are going to do a day tour. Ja -ja! Yes, we're gonna go to Asahi Beer Brewery. We're gonna try beer. Next stop will be either the Odawara Historical Castle or to some Kamaboko. And we will try also this Seto Sake Brewery, beautiful gasho style house with an amazing bento. And by the way, at the castle you could at an extra price wear such cool costumes. Or you can make your kamaboko and chikua. And it starts in Shinjuku. And it's, like I said, under 100 US dollars. So let's go. See what a beautiful setting and you know this <laughs> really futuristic buildings in the nature. By the way, Mount Fuji is somewhere near here. And so we are going to see how they produce this most famous beer of Japan. We are yellow. <laughs> Yes, so this is so far my favorite beer in Japan, although I'm not such a beer drinker. But if I should have a choice, I will definitely take this Asahi because it's kind of not so flowery. <laughs> it's dry, exactly dry and bubbly and really cold. It has to be cold. So I'm really happy that today we're gonna see how they make this Asahi beer. I'm not sponsored by Asahi, okay? I have nothing to do with the company. <laughs> but I really want to see how they are making it. So, let's enjoy. And sadly, we cannot film inside because it's top secret how they make the Asahi beer. However, we can take photos. So, bear with me on a photo playlist, something like that. So the raw material is barley, hops and water. Interestingly, they choose barley with large grains and high starch content. Then the hops, the hops gives this aroma and bitter taste. And you need water that should be um, with no taste and no flavor, so it's distilled. And these three items will be used as such first point, the malting process, the barley, they let it sprout, poor him, so he's gonna grow roots. And after it has the roots grown, they're gonna dry it. And they will remove this root part and um, have it here inside, mashed and t turned into malt, boiled, see, boiled in hot water, together with rice and corn grits. Adding the hops. The hops are the ones that give, you know, this aroma and bitterness. So hops get in this boiling kettle and in, then in the whirlpool, the fermentation and maturation process. They will add beer yeast, which is important for beer brewing, dissolves the sugar in wort into alcohol and carbonic gas. And so after malting, mashing, fermentation, next stop we are going to filtration process. So they will use filters um, 
to produce this golden draft beer. And then we get to the speedy process of packing cans and bottles and kegs. And then experts evaluate the beer every day by drinking <laughs> freshly brewed beer. You know, so they don't only use robots, but also humans. And these are all the products produced by Asahi beer, so it's not just the beer itself, but whiskey and some baby food, <laughs> snacks and coffees. And there are breweries everywhere in Hokkaido and Kanagawa. This is where we are right now, look how beautiful this is, so futuristic. Here, Fukushima, Ibaraki. And in all these countries, oh my god. Yes, finally we got no taste of sahi beer and they have three types for us. Look at this beautiful hall. Actually everything here is surrounded by nature and it's in the heart of nature. Wow, so this is like real draft asahi super dry. <gasps> <laughs> Yay, my favorite one. Yes. So super dry. This is why I like it. And you know that I'm sometimes traveling around. And I do try craft beer, but for me those taste too flowery and too many other flavors. So I think I like this one best because it's just kind of bitter, dry and very refreshing. <laughs> And guess what? I should hurry to finish this because we get to taste two more. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, this is the black beer and I requested only half of it because I won't be able to finish. Wow, look at the beautiful foam on the top. Thank you so much. <laughs> so sweet, not as sweet as I expected. Okay, this is really amazing. Although it's black beer, it's not sweet at all. So, I guess it's really nice and maybe that's the point of Asahi Dry, <laughs> to not be sweet. Hmm. New, new experience. Not sweet, black beer. So, I guess it's cool, I guess it's really good. Because I really expected it to be like a chocolate sweet, but it's not. Okay, anyway, I don't know much about beer, so don't count on me for a correct opinion. Time for some snacks, otherwise I won't be able to drink all the remaining beer. Let's try the last one, the premium. Wow, look at the foam. And I requested just a little because I won't be able to drink a full glass. While this one is... Uh, five something percent. This one is 6.5 percent. So the alcohol is stronger and the taste is supposed to be stronger. So let's see my last glass. Wait a sec. Oh, wow, this smells like flowers. Oh, 
Oh, this smells like a flower perfume. So, even before drinking it, I can notice that this premium Asahi has much more uh, personality. <laughs> Smells like flowers, oh my god. <laughs> Flower water. And you know what? This bubble here is so creamy in a way. It's really like I'm as if I would be drinking whipped cream. Really creamy. This one, this last thing. <laughs> Creamy, flowery. So, my favorite is, is still the super dry. Ja -ja gift shop, shopping town. Whiskey and something like that, and t shirts, glasses. Oh my god, I should get something for my friend. Why? Because this is dry black. Wow. I think the Asahi Brewery mission accomplished, and I did buy some for my friend's gift. I chose this <laughs> dry black because it's the one that shocked me most because it wasn't sweet. So maybe in the future it will become my second favorite. Ja -ja. Our next stop for this travel is again a traditional thatched roof Japanese house. We are luckily again in a thatched roof Japanese traditional Gashuzukuri's house. And we have a traditional Japanese bento lunch box. Look how beautiful this is made here. See with this <laughs> nice ribbon and then you get the paper here wrapped around your lunch box in this beautiful such roof house location. Let's open the box. See how pretty this is with this paper. Ajisai no Sato. Ajisai is this flower. And Sato is like the hometown of Ajisai of Hydrangea. And look how beautiful. Oh my god. I'm impressed with this thing, you know, like it's really such um kind of like the thatch roof it's leaf a bento box made of leaf and not plastic and then ja, ja, <laughs> peeled away beautiful and so healthy And then we have here the shrimp. Really delicious tempura of some vegetable. And like all Japanese bentos, you know, they feature different colors because you should have at least five colors to enjoy. And then, for example, here is fish. So you should have different um, animals, <laughs> different plants fish and this is shrimp here then we have the uh, paste bean paste red bean paste it's like a cake so always there should be various colors and various feels like this one is kind of crispy and makes a lot of noise when you eat it this one is sticky and this one is soft so this is the traditional Japanese style you know to make you enjoy textures and colors See, this is also a museum. This is how you boil rice, actually with charcoal inside, so it's really delicious way to boil the rice. And then you have here again this fireplace in the middle of the house, and the smoke goes all the way to the roof and keeps it free of parasites and clean and strong. Wow, and really traditionally Japanese, it even has such a water... water really so lucky to come from Shirakawago and get directly here and look at these flowers these are the flowers of the season and here is Higanbana in red color 
the flower of this season. So we are really lucky to see her. Just in front of this thatched roof, very traditional house, you have this cool modern coffee shop. So let's have a coffee with that traditional Japanese bento. Let's try the cafe hako by Asagi. So cafe hako is really freshly brewed. They also have beer, but I think we had enough beer for today. Yeah, we are in the countryside and color changed to silver because now we are going to try Japanese sake. This is Japanese alcohol. Specialty of Japan. Isn't this fancy like a safari vehicle? And we are at Seto Shoes of the As you can see, very traditional Japanese setting. A lovely Japanese traditional garden. Beautiful garden and ancient house. So here is your chance to take a photo with a Japanese umbrella. So these are the Japanese sake bottles. As you can see they are very elegant. So actually here is a shop where you can purchase all kinds of Japanese sake. So you can actually test it, taste it. Okay, so I'm gonna actually try a little. <laughs> because my friends here are saying that this is so delicious and you got to try it and it's so strong so let's just try this company they won the number one prize in a competition in France so we are lucky to try it and it's part of the tour of today mission accomplished I did try, I said I would not but I did try the Seto Shizotan sake Japanese alcohol cheers to Seto Shuzotan and by the way they're so famous many people come so this one is to take you back and forth to the station wow our next experience is we're gonna make kamaboko fish cake this is our next stop Hiro Kamaboko Museum so the last part of the wheeler travel is we are learning how to make kamaboko by ourselves okay not the entire process just the ending and kamaboko is a fish based steamed cake that is very popular in japan you find it in any bento there will be a piece of kamaboko and it's kind of chewy and then it has some faint fish ね、この上は入れとかついて。あ、はい、見よう大大の場所は。はい、見よう大大の場所は。はい、見よう大大の場所は。はい、見よう大大の場所は。はい、見よう大大の場所は。はい、見よう大大の場所は。はい、見よう
gonna actually start eating my own kamaoko right here, right now. Actually, really delicious. Wow. Is this delicious? Um, the outer part is crispy like a leather, like a skin. The inner part is chewy like a meat. So, actually it's very fishy. Okay, fish, fish meat is more dry and it falls apart. So this one sticks together and it's really chewy. And so the outer skin is crispy and it feels really natural to eat it. Really not like what we did to this thing, you know, like slap it and rub it around and, and fix it by hand. Mm. Wow, really happy to eat this. Fresh made by myself. Okay, with their help. Okay, amazing. So, uh, to tell you very fast, you take the fish uh, body, you know, like boiled fish, and then you mix it. And at first, uh, it doesn't produce any big change, but then when you add the salt, that salt is going to change the protein shape and it's going to become very easy to form a lattice and it will change, you know, the proteins will change and become this lattice and that's why it becomes really chewy and it has different texture than fish so that's why it was so chewy and it's like, oh my god, what am I eating? <laughs> really, uh, it's like an elastic so it becomes elastic after you rub the fish like that and add this special salt. The Kamaboko factory and museum and manufacturer. Everyone, say hello to Mount Fuji. And for foreigner look, there's even such a Japan bus pass. Like you could ride many, many destinations, see like this all over Japan for just like i don't know 100 dollars or something so you should definitely check out this japan bus pass the website is in english so i'm so happy thank you wheeler seriously